Hello everyone, this is Ishan Shah and welcome to Z Interactive. In today's class, we will learn how to create a pocket on the front here, okay, and on the left and the right side. So first what we need to do is that we will take internal line and we will draw a simple pocket area. Okay, click and drag here a bit to give a bit curve and then click it here, then here. Then somewhere here, click and drag. Okay, once done, we'll go to this side, click it, and then click down. Okay, then wait for a while. Okay, now it's done. What we need to do is that this internal line, we will first of all uh, try to adjust it. Okay, if there is any, uh, like some, if, if there is some uh, like odd curves, like here you can see it is thicker at this side and, and thinner in the middle. So it doesn't look good. So, so let's first uh, adjust these. And then these as well, because from here it is like thin from the middle and thick from the end, which is not right. Yeah, now it's fine. So I can adjust it a little bit more. Okay, it looks quite, quite fine now. So I will take this uh, side pocket and then I will clone it as a pattern. So put it somewhere here and you can see it's there. And I will do the same thing from the other side. Let's put it up here, then clone as pattern from the right side. And now what I will do, I will make a symmetric copy of the, uh, I will, I will make a symmetry like both of them. I will select the both of them and right click and link them as a symmetrical. So they will become symmetrical. So I will just try to put them in a 3D window on top of each other in this manner. Okay. So what? Here I can do now is to use a free sewing tool or a segment sewing tool to just this. But first, let's make it a little bigger. So I will take a segment sewing tool. So all these segments. Okay. Top here, top here. Bottom here, bottom here. Oh. Okay. Now let's try before completing. Okay, so there is some issue here. Oh, why? Because that's why I didn't uh, sort the whole thing. Because the top part is not sewing. The sideways, I kept it open uh, for uh, on purpose just to see if if there is anything wrong. So I, I so you can see that the top part is not sewed correctly. So let's see what is the issue here. So I will take sewing tool and try to sew. It's all it's already sewed. Like it's already stitched. Why? Why? Uh, it's, it's there. Yeah, it's already stitched. Yeah, uh, I I think. Uh, let's like delete it and do it again first and then let's see what's the issue. So I will take the segment sewing tool again. Try to sew it. Okay. And 
the sewing line is not appearing that's the issue because the internal line which is on the front of the trouser you can see the top part is intersecting with the bottom with the uh, top part of the trouser so we have to offset it little down okay so uh, that's what the issue is so let's do that take the edit pattern tool take this edge and put it a little down now you are able to see that uh, stitch line that's that's the issue it's because it shouldn't overlap if it, if it overlap then you will have this issue okay now it's fine now i can close my uh, like pocket here the one that i left open the segment uh sewing tool click it here click it here click it here and click it here then sew it okay then here we go so to make it a little bit more uh perfect what we can do we can create a layer over it so it will become thicker we don't have to keep the pocket open because obviously it's a 3d avatar he won't be using the pocket it's just for sure otherwise you have to cut it and make a under uh, like a new pattern underneath it just like in reality we have on the trouser so i will just take these uh pocket bands that i created and right click and cl a layer clone over it both of them so it will become a little uh like thicker okay now simulate it okay good and one more thing we can do here is that the one which is underneath i can make it smaller but oops they are linked together let's do one thing here let's undo it and then take this part remove the link and let's arrange them nicely so we can have. i will make these two sim oops i will right click and symmetric pattern act uh, on these two and this one is already symmetrical so i will reduce the size of the one which are under and i will take the part which are on the top oops this one sorry yeah this one all like away from them so it will create an interesting effect Okay, now it's fine. Okay. Baseband's you can superimpose again because the they are not really uh reacting or in the next class we will see how we can uh, work on the layers inside Marvelous Designer. Okay. So that will help you. So what I will do, I will select all of them. Change their particle distance to 10 red means the, that some of them are uh are with uh, like using different particles in, like distance and some different if they are, if the, that red is it's if it shows in red color now they all are 10 so it's fine okay so uh if you, uh i hope you have enjoyed this video and if you like my videos and have not subscribed to my channel yet so please do it and hit the bell icon and to support my channel please watch my videos online and do not download them otherwise i won't get any benefit out of it which will demotivate me to make further videos so please champion my channel and like them if you find them useful so take care guys stay safe stay healthy and keep learning on z interactive your own training institute if you're enjoying this series and want to binge watch the whole course without waiting for next lesson then join my z interactive early bird membership plan once you are an active member you will be able to binge watch all the courses without waiting for lessons to get published
Moreover, you can support my channel by joining Z Interactive Friends membership plan. You will get a lot of perks with that also. 